है गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लर्नर्स एजुकेशन प्रीवियस वीडियो में मैंने आपको ऑब्जर्वेशन का मीनिंग डेफिनेशन एंड प्रिंसिपल्स बताए थे आज का मेरा टॉपिक है मेरिट्स एंड डीमेरिट्स ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन फर्स्ट हम मेरिट्स करेंगे सो फर्स्ट बीइंग अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द एक्चुअल बिहेवियर ऑफ द चाइल्ड इट इज़ मोर रिलायबल एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव second it is a study of an individual in a natural situation and is therefore more usual than the restricted study or test situation third the method can be used with the children of all ages of course the younger the child is the easier it is to observe him this method has been found very useful with shy children fourth it can be used efficiently some training as imparted beforehand and almost of all teachers can use it it doesn't require any special tool or equipment fifth it can be used in every situation be it formal or informal rigid or free in fact it is the most suitable technique which needs minimum preparation ab hum karenge demerits of observation first there is a great scope for personal prejudice and bias of observer as this method is quite subjective second records may not be written with correct accuracy as observation is recorded according to the experience of the observer third the observer may get only a small sample of students behavior it is very difficult to observe everything that a student does or says fourth it reveals the overt behavior is the only behavior that is expressed and the behavior which is not expressed can never be observed so ye tha hamara aaj ka topic merits and demerits of observation agar aapko meri video like pasand aayi ho to please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you